I went to this little church one Sunday morning. First time I'd been there. A little small church. I don't know, 150 people. Classic sermon that morning. Classic sermon. One of the best I've ever heard in all of my life. I happened to be there. And I had my journal. While this sermon is going on, I can't believe it was so precise. It was so unique. It was so powerful. And I've got my journal and I'm taking notes. Taking notes of this classic sermon. Uh, guess how many other people were taking notes? Approximately, guess. How many do you suppose? It looked like, best as I could tell, I'm the only one taking notes of this class. Now, since I'm a stranger there, and it's the first time I've been there, and I'm taking these notes, people started looking, who is he, and what's he doing? I started feeling just a little bit uncomfortable. I'm still writing. Now I'm feeling kind of like a spy, right? <laughs> I could hear some of them say, he's going to get out of here with some of this stuff. And I did. I did. I'm the guy that walked away with the stop. I'm asking you to be no less sincere and be no less committed to the advancement of your philosophy, the set of the sale. Talk about have your best year ever this year and then get ready for next year, your very best year ever. And they'll start being the best, the best, the best year after year. If you'll commit yourself to some of this simple stuff called personal development, Start with a walk around the block. Start with the refinement of your philosophy. Start with the teaching of your own fabulous mind where all the answers are. I can only give you a few answers from my own experience. The rest of all the magical answers are within the confines of your own mind. But it takes the books, it takes the cassettes, it takes the videos, personal conversation, sermons, lyrics from songs, dialogue from the movie. Let your heart be stirred by words. Find ways to capture part of your personal development course. Isn't this good stuff? I'm telling you, this stuff changed my life. Turned me every way but loose. I've never been the same since the teacher gave me some of this simple instruction. How to go from where you are to where you want to go. How to go from what you are to what you want to become. How to go from pennies to treasure. How to go from nothing to fortune. It's all within the confines of this stuff that I've been trying to share with you. Be like a sponge. Don't miss anything. And not just the words, it's true, don't miss the words, but don't miss the atmosphere, don't miss the color, don't miss the scenario, don't miss what's going on. Most people are just trying to get through the day. Here's what I want you to be committed to do. Learn to get from the day. Don't just get through it, get from it. Learn from it, let the day teach you. Join the university of life. What a difference that'll make in your future. Commit yourself to learning, commit yourself to absorbing. Be like a sponge. Get it. Don't miss it. Here's a good phrase for you to jot down. Wherever you are, be there. Be there to absorb it up. Be there to soak it up. Take a picture if you can. Take pictures of your mind. Let your soul and heart take pictures. Get it. Capture it. Absorb it. That's such an important ability to develop. The ability to get it. Don't miss it. Don't be casual in getting it. Key phrase, casualness leads to casualties. The ability to respond means let life touch you. Don't let it kill you, but let it touch you. Let sad things make you sad. Let happy things make you happy. I'm telling you, give in to the emotion. Let the emotion strike you, not just the words, not just the image. Let the feelings strike you. Let the emotion strike you. Here's what's important. Our emotions need to be as educated as our intellect. Our emotions need to be educated as well as our intellect. It's important to know how to feel. It's important to know how to respond. It's important to let life in, let it touch you. I'm the greatest guy in the world to take to the movies. I get into a good movie. I want a good movie. Make me laugh, make me cry, scare me to death, teach me something. Take me high, take me low. Just don't leave me as I was when I came in. Touch me. Do something to me. I'm asking you to get it. Absorb and respond. Pay attention. Things are moving so fast these days. You gotta pay attention. Pick it up. Soak up the colors. Soak up the sounds. Soak up what's going on. Second, respond. Let life touch you. Let the emotions affect you as well as the sights. 
Develop the ability to reflect. Reflect means go back over. Study it again. Go back over these notes that you're taking today. Go back through the cassettes one more time. Read the text one more time. But there's more to it than that. Go back over your day. I call it run the tapes again. Take a few minutes at the end of the day. Go back over the day. Who'd you see and what'd they say and what happened? How'd you feel? What went on? So that you capture that day. A day is a piece of the mosaic of your life. Number one, don't treat it casual. Number two, get from the day. And then number three, go back over the day so that it locks in that experience, the knowledge, the sights, the sounds, panorama, the color motion picture of the day. Just lock it in so that it will serve you for the future, having that day, not missing it. Take a few hours at the end of the week. Call time to reflect. Go back over your day timer. Go back over your calendar. Go back over your appointment book. Where did you go and who did you see and how did it feel and what went on? Capture that week. A week is a pretty good chunk of time. Next, take half a day at the end of the month. Call time to reflect. And do the same thing again. Go back over what you read. Go back over what you heard. Go back over what you saw. Go back over the feelings to capture it so that it serves you. Next, take a weekend at the end of the year to establish this year now firmly in your consciousness, firmly in your experience bank so that you've got it, so that it never disappears. Good ability to acquire, the ability to reflect, go back over, remember, remember, remember. It's so valuable to be able to remember the thought, remember the idea, remember the experience, remember the occasion, remember the day, remember the weather, remember the emotion, remember the complexity, remember the highs, remember the lows, so valuable at the end of the day, lock that day in. Lock the month in, lock the week in, lock the year in. Old Testament says a unique scenario unfolded according to the law. And that was they worked nine years and the tenth year was a sabbatical. The tenth year, work nine, take the tenth year. And not just to relax, not just to replenish, not maybe just to get physically in shape. Change of pace, we call it in the modern society, but not just for that. I'm sure that in ancient days, that sabbatical was to go over the last nine years, what went right and what went wrong and what worked well and what didn't work well. And how did you grow and how did you learn and how did you change and what have you got now after nine years that you didn't have at the beginning of the nine years? See, that's so valuable, a sabbatical, some time, some time. There's also something to be said for solitude when you reflect. Sometimes you can reflect with somebody. Husband and wife reflect on the past year, right? Parents reflect with their children on the past year. How did we do it and how didn't we do it and how could we improve? Colleagues can reflect with each other. But now here's one of the most important. You've got to learn to reflect with yourself. There's something to be said for solitude. There's something to be said for taking those occasions to shut out the world and shut out everything else for a while. I've got a motorhome. That's how I do it. My motorcycle on the back. And I head for the mountains and ride the jeep trails where there's very few human beings on the jeep trails or out in the desert somewhere. It's called my time to get away. When you live a very public life, you treasure solitude. A chance to reflect, go back over my life, go back over my skills, go back over my experiences. Alone. There are some things you need to do alone. Ponder, think, wonder, read, study, absorb, soak in. See if you can't become better this year than you were last year. Better the next nine than you were the first nine. Solitude. There's even a more modern advice that says, go to the closet for time of meditation, time of prayer. Go to the closet. Closet meaning what? Away. And there's even a graphic description of the away. It said, enter into your closet and what? Close the door. 
just to shut out everything. Life is experience, 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 and touching and seeing and looking and doing and acting and disciplines and all the stuff. But sometimes, this is where this reflecting is so important, to shut the door, to shut the door and wonder.